What's up guys, today we have a new review. I have OBD11 for you. So I was contacted, contacted by OBD11 team. Uh, they saw my channel, so they thought I maybe wanted to do a review. I said yes, because I am interested in this product. Now this is a diagnostic device for Audi, Volkswagen, Skoda and Seat cars. Um, you can connect it to your OBD port in your car and you can use it. So this is a Bluetooth device and you can pair it to your phone and you can use the application to code a uh, car or to use quick apps to quickly code your car. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you what's in the box, how it looks, and then I'm going to jump into my car and do some modifications for it. Okay guys, so this is the box. Uh, this is what you get. So these are all the corners. These are blank. So this is the back of the box. Yes, the app, uh, I mean the, the OBD11 is only supported for Android phone at the moment. It works via Bluetooth. Uh, I've asked the OBD11 uh, team they said they are working on the uh, iOS app, so I have a iPhone. I'm gonna use my brother's uh, Android phone for this uh, demonstration. So I'm gonna open the box. So we have to push it so the the spark can you know pop out. So I'm gonna use both of my hands, and I'll have to cover this side because uh, this is what you get. This part is empty. I'm going to put it on the side. Now I'm going to hide with my finger here because I did to get the pro version. There's a code and there was a promo code which I used. Uh, you cannot use it again. Uh, 200 credits uh, gift for OBD11 team. Uh, so I can test this. Now you have here a OBD11. So this is the OBD11 port that all uh, VOG group cars have. So this is how it looks. You have here, it's a 12 watt. And over here you have, you get this ring, you can pull it out. Um, uh, it's, you know, for like, for a keychain. Uh, I'm gonna put it back here. I'm not gonna use it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, so, I'm gonna move the box on the side. So this is the port. Uh, this is how it looks, so you probably, Maybe you notice this on the bottom of your car if you ever reach for the opening the uh, front bonnet or the hood, whatever you call it in your country. So um, this is how it looks. Now I'm gonna head over to my car and I'm gonna continue there where I'm gonna plug this in. Now when I plug this in, there is like a small red LED light here uh, glowing that is, you can't see it right now, but it's showing you that the uh, the device is connected and it's working. So without further ado, let's just move to the car. Okay guys, so we're in the car. I have the OBD11 app here. Uh, before I plug OBD11, uh, I'm gonna show you the app. Uh, reason for that is I wanna give you a note. So when plugging your OBD11, make sure to turn off your infotainment, switch your lights to zero because all of those are consumables. They drain your battery. So when you give contact, uh, your battery, uh, if you play with it for a few minutes, like 10, 20 minutes, it's gonna drain your battery. You're gonna get a warning for your battery. Um, so have that in mind. Of course, when you connect on the app, you're gonna see, you're gonna see here battery is gonna be green or yellow. So it's just a friendly warning. I didn't see that in other reviews. Now, to show you the app. So this is like the home uh, menu. Now over here you have home, garage, you can search fault codes, uh, settings, you can change the language. <clears throat> you can see supported vehicles, uh, devices that takes you to the OBD11 page. Uh, help about so you have forums as well for loan coding and uh, where you can you know discuss with other people and you have a profile here so I mentioned credits you can get credits here you can see I have a pro license you get credits so you have 10 100 500 credits you can use a promo code if you get one from OBD11 or you can get free credits now per day you can get five free credits 
No, it works uh, in a way that you watch an ad. It's either uh, 30 or 15 seconds long. Here we go. So it says here, bonus credit added. So I got now 60, 165. Now this profile picture is just by default here. I didn't set that up. Now, if I go to garage, you can see the cars that were memorized. If you want to delete the car, just swipe to the left and here press on remove or it'll pop up back. Now, uh, my cousin's car, uh, Golf 5 change the language. Now, this is my car. Uh, and it's coincidence that it resembles the color and most of the spec. Now, here you have info. You can see about the car, um, the engine, all the information. You can go to... Uh, this is the only thing I don't like. You have to go back, switch a car. So, you can see here three things I've... Uh, did so refuel quantity in dash and lap timer and gauge test needle swap so those are the functions i've turned on now you can go let me just show you so for this car you have apps um so i'm just going to go slowly you pause in the video if you want to see these are the things you can change on your Skoda Octavia. I'm going to link the list of this in the video description. Now, some of these things, uh, they vary it on your equipment. So you cannot uh, turn them on if you don't have a certain package. Uh, some things you can. And like I have uh, already Meridip and etc. things. Now I'm gonna turn, I mean, connect the uh, OBD11 in a moment and show you. And you also have here, when you go back to garage, when you get used to this menu, then it's not a problem, but I wish there was a back button. You have a gauges. So when you turn on the car, you can see real uh, live data. So if you're a mechanic, this is a really useful feature. So I'm not going to go through all of this. And if you want to see supportive vehicles, you can always press here. Also, Wagon, Audi, Skoda, and Seat. And just search for the car. It'll show you all the apps you can do. Now you can do long coding, but it's easier to use the apps because you're probably going to do this only once. Now. I think that's all I wanted to show you. You can go here and discussion takes you to the forums. Uh, manuals for this car, it's not linked for some reason. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna connect now, go to home. Now I'm going to pause here, plug the OBD11. Okay, so the OBD11 is plugged in. I'm gonna give it a contact, just ignition. So you can see the needle go up and down. It's pretty cool. Now, uh, make sure your um, Bluetooth. I'm gonna turn this off. Make sure to turn off your consumables, and make sure your Bluetooth is on. Now, OBD11 has a password. First time you have to set it up so no one else can connect to it. And now I'm gonna say connect. Okay, so it's asking for an update. Also, the uh, the car, uh, I mean, the phone gives you a warning when you left the OBD11 in the car, it vibrates, gives you a message, you left the vehicle in the car. So you can see here, we're connected, we have the battery. Uh, we're gonna do the scan now. When you do the scan, you go here, you can see the faults. This is my previous uh, faults that it, I, memorize now i'm going to go to back to home and go for a scan so you can see here it scans uh 16 key features now you're going to see at the end when it scans infotainment it's going to turn on and turn off for a moment you can see the yellow triangle he has found a fault i believe this is something about the clutch now some error codes might be major some are just uh not something that's serious it depends you can 
you know remove those codes by this but it gives you an insight of what's going on in your car so still waiting for scan to finish this is my Octavia now you can of course of course do this for Volkswagen Audi Skoda and Seat uh, note I've asked OBD11 they said they have a contract with the Volkswagen so it is this using these apps is not voiding your warranty but if you're really not sure just send the mail to OBD11 I'm sure they will reply to you now I'm gonna put in the link in the description below a as you can see now it's off I'm gonna put the description uh, I mean the link to their page so you can check it out and you can see here faults as you can see there are still faults faults here let me see faults being a light recognition center incorrect installation location now I had this problem before um, I'm not sure I'm the second owner so I'm not sure if the glass was maybe braked at some point and replaced and the second thing excuse me so the second thing is about the transmission this is here tolerance limit reached so I'm gonna go back to the home and I'm gonna just hold to clear faults and the faults are cleared now I'm gonna go to the car I'm gonna go to the apps so just to show you before I end this video don't want it to be too long uh, brake pads no not replacement I'm going to turn you know you can you can turn uh, sound actor uh, seat belt noise you can in, on the VRS you can turn off the fake sound now I'm gonna turn this on so you can pause and read what it does uh, if you press here now it's gonna say it's not valid so you have to you know say get in here and set it to weak hold value not changed so for this I've, I've been trying this okay so it needs to be to medium and it says here successful I don't know if you noticed something was lighting up over there now you can always revert that to back I wish there was a uh, thing that OBD11 should reconsider they should put a sort of a scan that would save your uh, default settings and then so you can revert it back to the default settings of your car before you make any changes that's something they should consider um, you have to go back so I wish there was a back button not to go in the menu to the apps again so I'm not going to be changing anything else um, now I'm going to talk about pros and cons of this so I'm going to turn off the ignition because I don't want my battery draining so pros of this app guys so um, pros of this app it is really convenient as you can um, okay, so do not forget to unplug your OBD11. So I believe it should be saying not connected Should give me a warning later. So you can also use a email I don't know if you notice you can send your this to your email a report. So pros of this app. It's really convenient. See Okay It's really convenient um because you can do it from your phone uh, you can do quick changes uh, the credits are not that expensive and you're gonna use this only once to do some tweaks on your car so if you really want to you can uh, you know go online you can search for some you know tips about loan coding and you can do you know for free without credits loan coding so it's pretty convenient um, so I, I recommend this uh, little OBD um, programming tool from the OBD 11 and I'm gonna link it below as I've said also guys I forgot to mention another pro and that is the price so this costs 50 euros and I think about 25 maybe euros if I'm not mistaken or 15 uh, is a pro license so this is pretty cheap uh, if you want to do changes on your car because you've probably heard of VCDS which is a professional OBD tool that you have to have a personal computer to plug it in 
and it requires advanced knowledge of programming skills for your car. Now you can use those skills to program with this for free as well, but if you want to get the VCDS, it's really expensive because it's a real professional tool. This is a lot cheaper, so 50 euros for this, and I believe it was 15 or 25 euros for the Pro license, which is not that expensive. And the credits, you can always get free credits. If you tap every day, you can get five credits, you can tap for a week and get enough credits to do modifications, or you can just buy some credits. They're not that expensive, and you can do some cool tweaks on your car, enable some cool features that you didn't have in the equipment because the dealers are greedy. <laughs> so about the cons for the uh, OBD11, I think they should uh, put a back button and this should give you a warning just you know uh, not to flatten your battery those are the things i think are uh, an issue uh, for the rest the ios app uh, is going to come in the future so i'm going to cross that over from the cons but you have to be patient for that thanks for watching see you in the next video it just so happens that uh, sun is too bright that my car matches the OBD11 apps